This artificial intelligence chatbot is the latest tech that has taken the internet by storm. People can ask this chatbot anything that comes to mind. Answering an interview question, writing a YouTube script, completing college essays, or just chatting. An impressive piece of tech that has received over a million hits since its prototype launch. So let's dive in and see what exactly is it and what is it capable of. Is it really better than Google? And why do some people worry that it is problematic? But before that, do not forget to like and share this video and subscribe to the Money Control YouTube channel. Step 1. We'll search for the chatbot GPT on Google and click on the link that we get. So what exactly is this? ChatGPT is a conversational dialogue model trained by artificial intelligence and machine learning to understand and respond to natural human language. It gets its name from GPT or Generative Pre-trained Transformer, which is a deep learning language model that specializes in generating human-like written text. So first we go to Google and search for chatbot GPT and click on the first link that comes up that is by OpenAI, which is the company, the artificial intelligence research company, which has created this uh, open source software. Uh, we click on that link and it will take us to the home page and we click on try. So after we click on try, there's a page that comes up which asks us to either log in or sign up. So I have already signed up. So I click on login and log in through either my Google account or my Microsoft account. I have logged in through my Google account. So I will click on continue with Google. And here you can, uh, there are some examples that are mentioned by uh, the company itself. Uh, it has mentioned its capability. Uh, it mentions that it remembers what users said earlier in the conversation, allows user to provide follow-up corrections, trained to decline inappropriate requests. There are certain limitations that are mentioned, may occasionally generate incorrect information, may occasionally produce harmful instructions or biased content, and limited knowledge of world and events after 2021. There are certain examples that are mentioned that I can ask, explain quantum computing in simple terms, got any creative ideas for a 10 year old's birthday, how do I make an HTTP request in JavaScript? So let's go ahead and ask for one simple question. Uh, explain Sensex. The Sensex is a stock market index in India. It is calculated using the market capitalization of the top 30 companies listed on Bombay Stock Exchange. The index is also known as the BSC 30 and is a widely used indicator of the performance of the Indian stock market. So this is the definition that comes up after I write explain Sensex. So let's try again and let's say if I have to write an essay on uh, Mahatma Gandhi. Write an essay on Mahatma Gandhi. Okay, so it starts writing an essay. Mahatma Gandhi was one of the most influential figures in modern history. Born in 1869 in India, Gandhi was the leader of the Indian independence movement against British rule. He's employed non-violent resistance and civil obedience as his weapons in the fight for freedom and is often credited with helping to usher in an era of non-violent resistance across the world. So it has written an entire essay and it seems like it is going to write a 500 to 1000 word essay. Let's again try and see if we can uh, write the code for an application. Write a code for a for an e-commerce application. It's still thinking. Here is a basic example of code for an e-commerce application. This code is written in Python programming language and it uses Flask web framework to create a simple server side application. This code is intended to be illustrative and is not intended to be used as is in real world e-commerce application. So again, it has generated a simple template of a code in Python uh, programming language and it has given a disclaimer that it should not be intended to be used in real world e-commerce application. So how does this work? It's pretty much ingenious of this entire software to respond to queries and questions in a very human-like uh, way. So what OpenAI has said that the system is designed to provide information and answer questions through a conversational interface and the AI is trained on a huge sample of text taken from the internet. OpenAI said that the new AI was created with a focus on ease of use and the dialogue format makes it possible for ChatGPT to answer follow-up questions, admit its mistakes, challenge incorrect premises and reject inappropriate requests. 
So basically, the chatbot takes a huge amount of text which is already available on the internet and uses it to optimize and answer accordingly to the queries and questions asked by the people on the chatbot. Well, apart from the limitation that OpenAI mentioned, some experts have pointed out that it can also be used by bad actors to make either explosives or design a weapon. This user on Twitter even demonstrated that how chatbot GPT told him on how to build a nuclear bomb. Well, as the company worked towards generating more accurate answers through chatbot GPT, the fascination with the chatbot continues.